Welcome to DWBI Adda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hi friends. In this lecture, we will see how to apply joins in PySpark. So we will see inner join, right outer, left outer, full join, and we will see how to apply multiple join conditions. So first, let's walk through data frames. To apply our joins, we need two data frames. So here I have two data frames, EMP and DEPT. And EMP has eight columns and 14 records. DEPT has three columns and four records. So if you can see here in the EMP data frame, I have a column DEPT number, which contains department numbers. And also if you can see here in the, in the DEPT data frame, I have DEPT number, which contains the department numbers. So we will join two data frames based on department number and we will see the employee belongs to which department and we'll see the respective department name instead of department number and location employee belongs to. Now let's walk through the code. Here I'm first taking my EMP data frame, applying join on the DEPT data frame. So on which conditions we are going to apply join. So from the EMP data frame, by taking department number column, which is equal to in the EPT data frame by taking department number column. When these two are matched, then we are going to get the those respective records. And what type of join we are applying? We are applying inner join. Inner join means it is going to get only matching records from the both data frame. And after that, I'm going to apply select to get the required columns. Here I'm taking columns from EMP data frame and DEPT data frame. So from DEPT data frame, I'm taking department number and location. So let's try to execute this one. It got executed and we can see seven columns from the EMP data frame and two columns from the DEPT data frame. And if you can see here, the department number 10 belongs to New York location. 20 belongs to Dallas location and 30 belongs to Chicago location. So as this is the inner join, it only gets the matching columns. So if you can see here from the department data frame, there is 40 department number which has Boston location. But I don't see that particular record here because we apply only inner join. That's why it got only matching records. Now let's see how we can apply right outer join. So to apply right outer join, here we are going to mention right underscore outer. Apart from that, everything is common. Now let's try to execute this one. Right. So if you can see here in the right outer join, it get all the matching records and non-matching records from the right side of the table. Here right side is going to be our DEPT data frame. That's why it got the department number and location values but if you can see here there are no matching values on the emp data frame that's why these values are became null values now let's see how can we apply left outer join so to apply left outer here we are going to mention left underscore outer so just try to execute this one so in the left outer join it, it gets all the matching records and non-matching records from the left side of the data frame so here left side of the data frame is emp so that's why it got all the matching records and it didn't get the 40 department number because it is in right side of the table and there are no extra records which are not matching with the department data frame. Now let's see how to apply full join. So to apply full join, here we are going to play full here. So now let's try to execute this one. So in the full join, we are going to get all matching and non-matching records from both the data frames. And see here, it got all the matching records first and non-matching records from the right side of the table, which is the EPT. And there are no non-matching records from the EMP table, which is right side. That's why it did get any records here. Now let's see how to apply multiple join conditions. So to apply multiple join conditions, here we are going to put the first condition in the close bracket 
and we are going to place and condition for and we are going to place this symbol and after that we are going to take the second condition so the first condition is emp data frame department number is going to equal to dept data frame department number column and it must satisfy EAP data from salary equal to 3k and it is going to be an inner showing so when we execute this one it has to satisfy both the conditions so let's try to execute now see here so by matching these two conditions and it is going to satisfy salary equal to 3000 this is the and condition so how we can apply all condition so to apply all condition here we are going to place five symbols and let's try to execute this one See here that we try both the conditions the first condition is going to be matched with this one which is emp data department number equals to dept data frame department number and second our condition it is going to be get all the reports by salary equal to 3000 so this is how we are going to apply join conditions thank you guys